Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad that I finally get to invite Janice who's a scholar for Trinity Foundation Scholarship Program and answer all the questions that you guys ask. So let's invite her here. Hi. Hi everyone, I'm Janice and we are studying in second year medicine. And we're both from Malaysia. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, how do you apply the scholarships? For second year, they will open up the Google form in, on Trinity website. So you just go into Trinity website and you just choose Foundation Scholarship. And under that section, you will see sign up and you just click into it and fill up all your details. And that's it. And it no normally opens up in October, second year. Moving on, what are the requirements? There's no requirement for this exam. You just have to pass your first year and that's it. Good luck to all those that want to apply for the scholarship. And what are the other types of scholarship that Trinity offer? They offer a few scholarships like sports scholarship, global excellence. So you go onto their website and you can see there are a few scholarships. You just have to find the one that's eligible for you. Next, how to make your application stand out. For this application, like I mentioned, you just fill in your details like your name, student ID, what course you're studying and what year you're in. And it's not like a resume or personal statements, nothing like that. You just fill in your details and that's it. And do you know any other scholarships for other universities? I'm not too sure about that because I study in 3D, so I only know the 3D ones. But I'm sure they have it on their websites. And will getting a scholarship help with your job opportunity in the future? I can't guarantee you that it will 100% secure you a job after you graduate. But it definitely do give you some benefits, something to add on to your resume, like a plus point. But I wouldn't guarantee that you will have a job after you graduate. But most likely you will be able to. So what are the contents of the exam? For medicine, we have four papers. The first paper is anatomy and physiology. So anatomy covers first year and second year. For physiology, only first year. And the second paper is clinical biochem. Clinical biochem covers first year and second year as well. And second section is infection and immunity. And infection and immunity is only for second year. And the third paper is behavioral science and pharmacology. So pharmacology is second year and behavioral science is first year. And the fourth one is special topic. For special topic, you have two essays as well. So it can be any, any module. And for my year, the special topic is malnutrition. For the year above me, it's alcoholism, something like that. So for my year, you can do either either behavioral science, physiology, or biochem on malnutrition. And for each module, they will give you a list of research papers, around 10, and you just have to look into it and jot down all the details that you need to have. Obviously, you still have to do extra and further reading, further research to make your essays better. It's a lot of work, and how did you do it? If you really want to try for it, just go for it. Like, that involves a lot of effort. Like like so much effort so much time and you will experience breakdown or burnout in the middle but if you really want to sit for it just go for it i'll recommend you to do it how does the exam work this exam starts in january so you will study your first semester of your second year and then you have a christmas exam and you will have a period of time for your scores preparation and in during january at the start probably the first or second week of January and you'll come back to the school to do scores examination before starting your second semester. Yeah, that's crazy. I just remember after my Christmas exam, I got burned out and I needed a break. And I can't believe this, you have the energy to study for it. So that's pretty tough. I'm pretty sure if you want it, you'll be able to do it. All right, next, do you have to be interviewed for it? No, you do not have to. Okay, when do you start preparing for it? I started preparing for it around the end of October. Obviously, it's up to you because like I mentioned, it involves first year syllables. So during your first year summer, maybe you can start studying for it. But personally, I didn't. I just enjoy my summer. And I started uh, October and some people started after their Christmas exam, which is like three weeks and they still get it. So uh, for me, I started quite late but it's not too late as well. I think for the preparation, I started with special topic because you really have to look into all the research papers and then start jotting it down, what the, the details of it, the notes for it. Uh, yeah, start preparing for the special topic first. I would recommend to do it. Wow, that's so crazy. What websites do you use for your research? Any website that can actually make your essays more 
colorful, I would say. You can try PubMed, it's very random. You can just get any source of information that's related to your essays. It can be from anywhere, from books, from articles, from newspapers, from just looking at your YouTube news or something like that, anything, just add to it. And is this exam tough? It is very tough because for a special topic, like I say, you need to have research papers. So that means you have to memorize a citation, which is not commonly what they do in in a school's examination. Yeah, but you will definitely get to it and you will experience it yourself. I wish you all the best in school's preparation. If you really want to do it, I'll 100% recommend you do it so that you won't regret. Because after second year, you only have one chance and you don't do it in third year, fourth year, you don't get the second chance to do the exams anymore. Okay, now I'm pretty sure you guys are interested about her. So let's move on to some questions about her. What are your interests and hobbies? My interests and hobbies, I like movies, I like food. I watch a big range of movies, I would say, from musical, from Disney, from animation, to horror, psychological, and thriller. Yeah, other than that, I like food. I like trying new things. <laughs> I personally think that she's a person who's very nice, very friendly, and she manages her time super well. Like she still have time to go out, socialize with friends, and then just do well in her studies, and still go for exercise and so on. So she's a good role model, guys. How do you manage your time well while making sure that you're on track on your studies? Since there's so much work that you have to do for your scholarship application. I will say set your priorities. So for some people, they just want to be here to experience new things. They don't really care about their scores or something. But for me, I feel like I come here to study. So I set my priority that study first and the other things aside. I'll recommend looking over your slides every time after lectures to refresh your memory. And you have to sacrifice some of your socializing or playing time so that you can have more time to revise your syllables and your modules so that you can have well prepared for your exam. At the end of October, I started uh, revising the second year stuff. At the same time, maybe with the weekends, I only start looking at physiology and behavioral science and special topics as well. I start jotting down all the details and notes for special topics and behavioral science. Next, how do you cope with stress? Okay, firstly, I like food, like I mentioned, so I'll cook good food. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll cook good food and eat well, that makes me happy. So I'll just cook something different every day, like maybe every Friday. And then I'll watch movies. I can't spend much time watching movies because it's a waste of time. But sometimes when I'm too stressed, I'll just turn on a horror movie. And you know, I'll just study. Because I don't think horror movies scares me when you have exams, when you have so much stress around. So yeah, I think that's my coping mechanism, I would say. And also hanging out with people. Go out and hang out with people. Talk to people and maybe reach out to people if you need to. Um, yeah, just share your burden because I believe that a lot of people are on the same boat. Like everyone is struggling. Okay, I'm not saying everyone is like doing bad or something. It's you will be surprised that people can actually relate to you. Yeah, that's totally right. Like it's very tough and everyone is experiencing the same thing. You might be feeling lonely, but actually everyone's feeling stressed about it as well. So if you're in med school, you're stressed, don't worry about it. Talk to your friends and you realize that they can relate to you too and you wouldn't feel so lonely about that. So friends are pretty important. Share with us your study tips. My study tips is every time after lectures, look over your slides, look over your notes, make some notes. Um, I personally don't really make notes. I just jot anything down onto the slides. That's how I study and look over them. And recalling is the key. Your fresh memory is in the lecture. After that, recall once. Maybe a few days after, recall twice. And then the weekends as well. So you have a lot to memorize. You just have to keep recalling. Because as you get into second year, like pharmacology, there are a lot of drug names that you actually have to remember. So I'll say recalling is the key to actually put all the information and stick in, into your mind. Yeah, some people actually use flashcards and so on. Like personally, Anki was useful but I don't really like it because I personally like to have mind map and so like table just so I know where it is and kind of like structure it in my brain. Like her, you can use like, like just like just look through again and again to recall. That may be helpful for you. Or you can just use Anki flashcards or some websites or just like me, you just use table and so on to construct that in my memory. How many hours do you study and do you stay up? I don't stay up, I need sleep. Sleep is like my food. So when it hits 12, I'll go to bed. Like if I didn't finish studying anything, I'll just sleep. Because I don't think I can function well if I don't get enough sleep. 
And regarding to how many hours do I study, during the school period, I wake up, just laptop. Yes, like I just straight up wake up and eat something small and I just start studying. So from the morning, more than 12 hours I would say, 15 hours or something like that. And then for normal time, I'm quite chill. So weekends maybe wake up, I just lie on the bed for a while. And then when I feel like studying, I'll just study. But yeah, so we all know in med school, you really have to study. There's, if you want to score well, if you want to pass, if you want to score well, you really have to study. Okay, so how to be so studious and smart like you? Coming from one of your friends. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> I'm studious. I will say I'm studious. I will say everyone is studious but, uh, in that school. But I wouldn't say I'm smart because there are a lot of things that actually I don't know. And I think we just have to keep learning and also enjoy what you are learning because you really have to like what you are studying in order to prevent burnout. You'll be more eager to learn stuff when you're passionate. Obviously, sometimes even if you have passion, when it's too much work, you might feel really draining, but it's totally normal. Just take a break, exercise, and come back. General question. What are the benefits that you can get out of these scholarships? Okay, so for this scholarship, the benefits are free accommodation. The first year of schools, you'll be living in Trinity Hall. I chose Trinity Hall and some people don't choose Trinity Hall. So if you're not taking accommodation, you can get allowance, which is like around 2,500 per year. And the next thing is you can get free meals and for academic year, Monday to Thursday, only dinner. For Friday, it's lunch. And if you're staying here for the summer, they will have commons. Okay, we call this commons, sorry. I forgot to mention, we call this meal commons. And for the summer, you'll have lunch common. Is it worth applying yet? It's definitely worth trying for it. Although you will really have to sacrifice a lot of your time, especially for traveling. So during that three weeks, people who didn't prepare for it, they just travel around. But for me, I just stay here and study. So mm, it's definitely worth trying because you will gain a lot from it. For my personal benefit, I kind of get used to reading research papers because you have been reading so much now. So you know where to look for information. You know how to read at the research papers. And then you will be more used to reading articles like really smoothly and just bought the for the important information. Last but not least, what would you like to say to those who are sitting for it? All the best. You will definitely gain a lot from it. It's like after studying for so much, you will just have some interesting facts and information that just pop up to your mind. Oh, when I was studying at schools, I learned about this and you can share it to your friends, to your family which I really like that because that's something you can't really learn during your normal study like in medicine so because you're reading so many information out of your typical medical school you'll be learning a lot of extra things so it definitely helps increasing your knowledge that's really nice so if you're interested just apply it and if you have any questions just comment down in the comment section below and Jenny will try to help you or you can just um, text her on her Instagram which I'll leave it here <laughs> And yeah, so that's the end of the Q&A. Bye! Please give a thumbs up if you like it. And share this video. Yep. Bye!